Vermont's Farm to Plate Network is trying to create a more sustainable food system. There's a region-wide effort to increase New England's own food production by 30% by 2030. Our Haley Morgan reports on one of the more unconventional ways to achieve that goal. Humans have been eating insects since before we were human, so uh, it's really one of the more natural foods out there. UVM grad student Patrick Schaefer shows off his favorite snack, mealworms. They've been chilling in my refrigerator. He says he uses them in baked goods for extra protein, but mealworms byproduct known as frass can also be used as a more sustainable fertilizer. It's part of a circular food system, kind of like recycling. We grow all of this food that we end up throwing away and all of that stuff is perfect for mealworms. Vegetable matter type waste, that's what mealworm diet is. There's just so many opportunities to recycle that food waste um, into sustainable protein. Schaefer gets mealworm compost from what's believed to be the state's only mealworm farm in Braintree. Bob Simpson converted his property from a dairy farm to a mealworm farm. There's no waste with mealworms. The only thing we throw away sometimes is, is some uh, you know, some when the mealworms get older, they don't need up all their French fries, and we throw a few potatoes away. But other than that, everything is something when you raise mealworms. Mealworm usage is just one small part in a bigger plan to make our food system more sustainable. After a devastating 2023 for Vermont farmers, looking to our New England neighbors for crops could become more important. Vermont Farm to Plate Director Jake Claro says other farms and groups across Vermont are looking at other ways to conduct more sustainable farming. You know, a lot of dairy farms that are looking for different types of, of farming to get into. Uh, we're seeing this in actually new types of, of farming um, arising with agroforestry. Uh, agri and we're also seeing really significant changes happening with the ways in which people are getting local food. Claro says it won't be easy to reach their 30% goal of New England produced and consumed food by 2030 but are pushing transformational change across the farming community. Reporting in Braintree, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News. Haley.